Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Internet Dimensions reality update video, episode 41. And, of course, here's the big question. What kind of glyphs are we going to see? 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Okay. Um. So we got, we got four glyphs. We got... Our double effect is now on the power glyph. Um, dilation, this is just a worse version of the dilation glyph before. The new stuff is, we, we now have a replication speed glyph, which could be good. 10 times replication speed could be really good in certain areas of the game. Although, I'm not sure how good it's going to be. We also have a rare infinity glyph with a, um... Infinity Dimension Power plus 0 0.027. But I think maybe the most exciting thing is the double effect power glyph with a new effect. Well, this is also technically a new effect, but this effect actually seems extremely useful for some of the. It's not only the regular power, but also Antimatter Dimensions times this amount. So. I didn't really know about this one. Actually, I kind of been spoiled for a lot of the effects. I think I was spoiled for the other two effects. I'm not going to tell you them. But it definitely wasn't this. This is this flat bonus to the enter dimensions. It's an it's very interesting because it it makes everything pre-break infinity completely trivial. But then as soon as well okay It'll also make, I think, everything up to the 5v11 grind a lot faster. It's, it's just going to trivialize everything before that. But when I get there, it's going to be useless. Well, of course, it's going to be the power glyph. So it's basically just a better version of this. Well, once I get to the third glyph level. And that's that's where, you know, my eternity points and dilate, dilated time are going to come in. And also Replicanti. I have somehow, I've made it all the way to E22,000 Replicanti. Probably because of Cosmically Duplicate. And we're already at a level 3 glyph. And I'm gaining massive amount of eternity points every run. So we can take a look at the glyphs again. They're more powerful now. Um... This one's barely any more powerful. This one's barely any more powerful. This one is about 50% more powerful. Um, so it, it's definitely looking pretty good. This one is interesting. Power is, so this one's now unequivocally better. Or, or what's the word? Just is always better. Except in like extremely rare circumstances, such like. Well, I don't. I don't know. Like, like if 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 I need if I need a glyph that's actually doesn't have two effects or whatever. But this power glyph actually looks really good, and it, it's uh, yeah. I, I what what else do I say about it? The linguistically expand. It must be level three plus for that, and it's just it's just a great glyph for this this achievement or this, no not achievement what am i saying this upgrade because it's it trivializes so much of the grindy early game and it is more powerful than the glyph i started with so i'm i am really leaning towards that because the only other level 3 glyph that i currently or level 3 plus glyph that i have is this one which Yes, it speeds up dilation, and it's pretty good, but it's not going to affect most of the game. This is level 2, this is level 2. The other choices I could do is this. I mean, the only other real choice I can do, if I want a significantly sped up run, is Infinity. Because this will only affect like, the very, very late game. And this will, while it's pretty good, it will definitely like, speed up let's say, pre-eternity Replicanti stage, which is one of the slowest stages of the game, along with pre-infinity, and in maybe even in general, just the pre-5e11 galaxy upgrade. But, I think, the, the thing is that it just applies to replication speed. The great thing about this power glyph 
is it has two effects. Not only it doesn't just trivialize the early game, it also uh, basically provides a solid boost to all of the game from the start to the end. And not even th like this is not going to have much of an effect. Like if I don't pick the power glyph, everything pre infinity dimensions is essentially going to be the same speed as um as like pre reality. Well actually that's a lie because of the perks. I was going to go for well I still am going to go for this. The auto complete the eternity challenge. This is going to be good for early eternity stage trying to get the rest of the reality upgrades i haven't I haven't picked up yet like existentially prolong and the paradoxical forever and this is actually where the replication glyph would be extremely useful however i don't even i don't think i need that right, because i think the eternity challenges will be good this mostly actually changes what i was thinking later i was thinking i was really starting to lean towards getting this one as the glyph after the autocomplete one eternity challenge every 60 minutes. But because if I get that glyph, it's basically it's basically just replacing the glyph that I it's it's, it's, repl it's replacing this glyph here. And it's it's just gonna trivialize this. It's gonna make this perk basically entirely useless. Instead I could be going for like even this like it's going to trivialize so much of this part of the game i might want to go for something like dilation automation or i'm only three away from removing non-time theorem requirements for unlocking eternity challenges also i think by this point i'll be a lot more focused on getting automation points for the automator but yeah it's very it's very interesting it's Instead of last time, it's I it's a very clear decision what glyph I want to get. Like last time was like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And here there is just an obvious best choice in what glyph to pick, which is very interesting. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I can already gain 45 reality machines. That's actually really good. I. However, I want more than 45 reality machines. I want 79. Because if I get 79 reality machines, I'll be able to get... Oh, I'll be able to unlock the black hole. And I really want to unlock that. It might not be the best thing to get. The thing is that I kind of don't have any cheap upgrades. And these third world ones are nice, but... They're not, like, entirely necessary yet, at this point. And I think getting... I think getting the black hole is going to be nice. I might want to save up a little bit for when I eventually get something like Linguistically Expand or Existentially Prolong. But the thing is that I don't... Like, these upgrades are not going to be useful next reality. But then after that, they're going to be very useful. I'm trying to think of what my bottlenecks are. Actually, I have a spreadsheet that, that I'm going to pull up here. Now, you can't see the spreadsheet, but I've kind of made a list of what the worst parts of the run are. And um, the worst part is Attorney Challenge 11, in my opinion. The perk is kind of going to get rid of that. Basically, if I can... It, it, literally, like... The auto eternity challenge thing will be literally faster than actually completing like the last completion of eternity challenge 11 because that eternity challenge is just such a nasty challenge that i just don't want to deal with also going to dilation here before even getting triple the amount of dacion particles i can get like a good 50 percent more this is actually this is about quintupling my tachyon particles which is pretty interesting I think I want to stay in dilation just because of the two times dilated time boost. And that's what I'm going to want to go for. I'm not sure if I can get a level 4 glyph. I'm not really sure if I even want to go for a level 4 glyph. But that's interesting. The other walls that I have listed here are... The second biggest wall I have is pre-infinity. Because that's just a huge pain. And 
this power glyph is going to completely eliminate that wall. It'll it'll take a, yeah, it, it it'll be insane. The next biggest wall I have is eternity grinding, which means that I really do think if I wanted to get an upgrade here, I'd probably want to get the eternal flow, because eternity grinding really sucks. I only have two hundred thousand eternities even at this point in the game, which is probably limiting me to a certain extent. The problem is there's no way to really speed this up at all. So that that's why I might want to go for something like that. And the, the next slowest part of the game I have listed is E140 to E308 infinity points. It's the Replicanti stage. It's because Replicanti is very slow. That, I think, Eternity Grinding and that part of the game will not be fixed next reality. It seems like it'll take a long time for that to get fixed in the near future. Maybe the black hole could have really help. And the last wall I have, which is I label as a much smaller wall, is like around E6 to E8 infinity points before I get infinity dimensions. And it's really, it's not that. It's like half an hour to an hour at that point. So I also didn't didn't list this, but I think it's worth a mention. The grind to break infinity does take a take a while. But again, that this power glyph is gonna completely eliminate that. So really exciting stuff coming up next reality. Especially if I can get the black hole. We're not not there yet. Not 79, but hopefully I'll get there. And maybe I'll probably come back tomorrow let's, and see how far I've made it. And yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later and I'm up to almost E28 dilated time with 228 dilated galaxies. This is going to be pretty crazy. I'm going to respec out of this at E15 time theorem, which is kind of crazy. And I just, I, I want to see how many eternity points I can get. Probably going to be qu quite good with all the dilated galaxies. Yeah, look at this. I am shooting up to over 100 reality machines right off the bat. This is insane. I I wasn't expecting this. I thought I would like, yeah, I'll struggle my way up until the up to 79. Maybe get a little further, like 80, 90, maybe 100. But you can see I just gained 300 orders of magnitude of eternity points and I could probably keep my momentum going quite a bit further, all the way up to into the 130s of reality machines. I, I did have a plan for if I did get 129 reality machines, which I'm like, okay, that, that that's not realistic. But lo and behold, it actually is realistic. So w the plan was to want to get the black hole and one of these 50 years. Probably the eternal flow because of how bad the eternity grinding actually is. I might even get even more. Like, look at this. 68.75 on the exponent of eternity points. I'm also almost halfway to level 5 glyph. And, oh yeah, I didn't show you how much better this is at level 4. 3.35 and then 9e90. That means I'm actually able to reach... What? Like... <laughs> this is going to mean just 4 dimensions is enough to reach infinity. Even if they just... Yeah, like, that's crazy. And I also did some calculations. This would give me about an immediate, like, 150 to 200 times infinity point boost, which will be very useful for the, um, what, the pre-galaxy upgrade here. And we're, we're not quite... Well... And the other thing that would be really useful for is Infinity Challenges, especially something like Infinity Challenge 7 that just walls you. So, you can see, just from these few runs, and I also have a plan to just go back into Dilation for another day, even though, oh, well, I just don't have very much time today to actually do anything here. But, yeah, 154 reality machines I can gain, which... It, it's crazy. Like, 
if I if I get 159, I can actually get a 50 year, a 30 year, and the black hole. Or we'll see what I can do with the black hole. So yeah, I'm gonna go back into my dilation build. I also can get this, which is I guess pretty nice. Um, somehow getting getting up to E22,000 replicanti still it takes a while. And I think that long runs are not the way to go at this point because I, I, I'm not going to get a level 5 glyph. But yeah, this, this is really exciting. Again, exceeding, exceeding my expectations once again for reality machines. Also, like I've only been in this reality for a few days. I think I've only been post-dilation for maybe a day and a half. The last reality was like three weeks post-dilation to gain 99 reality machines. So this is exciting. Next episode, we'll see what we can actually do here with all of the reality machines. We'll also see how many, just how many reality machines I'm able to get in the first place. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.